think you know what time it is. Winds lied down. I'll try to get out and uh, pick something up. You know, I'm gonna catch some bait at least. You know, I enjoy my bait fishing because sometimes I don't catch fish. So gotta enjoy that bait fishing. Just leaving Cranon Park here. It's not that many boats out. It doesn't look like. I'm gonna try to figure out uh, if there's any bait here on the inside of the bay. If there isn't, I'll probably just run straight out to one of the markers or over to the bug light bases that are there uh, outside of Key Biscayne. And I got some chum with me, so should be able to pick up some ballyhoo or some cigar minnows. Once I get some live bait, I'm gonna do a drift and see what the current's doing, you know, see if it's running northwest, northeast, just straight north or whatever. And then start setting up some drifts to try to cover ground. I'll see you guys out on the reef. First drift, but quick bite. I'll take that. Too small to keep, so we'll let them go. That was a fast bite, though. That's definitely uh, a good sign. Caught him in 120 feet. I set up a little far out because the drift is actually pushing to the west. So if you start in like 100 feet, you're gonna end your drift pretty quickly. So I started in like 130, more or less. Ticker going on. I hit him in about 80 feet. All right, he'll keep. Take that. Caught that one holding. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna reset that drift. Started kind of picking up in speed there. I'm gonna do the same exact line. I'm just not gonna go out that far. I'm gonna start in like 100 feet. Wow, it's lit up down there right now. Throw that guy out seeing all kinds of marks in the bottom and on top of the water column. So I got a flat line out with a ballyhoo. A little wire tracer just in case I get a kingfish. And then I got my bait on the bottom. I'm drifting along the same exact line I did earlier, so. 
If there's mutton there holding, then we should pick up another bite here in the next five minutes. Right in that 80 foot area where I got hit before. There he is. Just saw a little thump, so I just picked up my rod so I can freeline. There he is, he's on it right now. I feel him running with it. might not make it let's check him out but man just like I said right in that 80 foot range right where I got hit the first time set up my second drift and sure enough I saw that rod give a little thump picked it up from the rod holder took the clicker off put it in free spool that way you can feel if the fish is there or not sure enough I felt him just kind of give another little thump and then slightly start running with my line so all you got to do from there is softly bring your drag up and let that momentum make the hook do its thing 19 Perfect for the dinner table. Exactly what I'm here for. 70 feet, I'm gonna hurry up and send another bait down. There might be more mutton right here. I'm not even gonna waste my time to try and change areas. If you find the fish, there's no reason to leave that area. I'm gonna keep setting up that same exact drift. I still, I'm in like 75 feet now, so I still have a little bit of space left to drop another bait. So I went ahead and dropped it. Might be able to pick up another bite. Some people hate fishing the rod holder, but in my opinion, it's not gonna make any, uh, any mistakes when a fish hits, you know? If you have the drag nice and loose, you can listen for any subtle changes on the clicker and then pick up the rod and do what you wanna do. Or just watch the rod tip and set that drag up and let the rod holder do its thing while you crank. It's just my opinion though, you know? You always want to be moving your rods around, you know? Never leave your rods exactly where they are. If lines start to cross and start to get in each other's way, you want to think ahead what it's going to be like if you get hooked up to two fish at once. You want those lines completely away from each other. All right, I just set up a drift here about 100 yards out. I changed my lineup just a little bit. Thank you, Keith. That's number three. All right, guys, just put my last battle here. Let's see if we can pick up one more. for a few hours after work caught some ballyhoo pretty quickly and uh just been some pretty decent action all day pulled hook on a couple nice fish today man i was a little upset about that sometimes you gotta you know you can't really force them you have to find a balance in between getting them to the boat to beat the sharks and you know finessing them. all right just hooked up to something nice 
It's like a really good run. All right, let's go. The perfect size valley hoo I put out there. Any more baits in here? Let's see if I find one hiding. That's why you should always catch as much bait as possible. You never know. You know what I mean? Oh, guys, you know what? It's a beautiful day out here. You win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to fight another day. Not a bad box. Okay. Got four mutts in there. One was pretty decent. The other one were all, you know, babies, little 19, 20 years. And I got a Cuda. I'm gonna do a taste test on that. Everybody been telling me to eat that thing. So I kept me one. But hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Got my boat all cleaned up. Get out of here. Get home, eat some dinner.